Hello everyone, my name is Drupa and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys the long-awaited how to install QB Core into your guys' 5M server completely for free in 2023. This probably will not change for a long time, so even if it is 2024 or whenever you're watching it, it'll probably still be the exact same way. If it isn't, comment down below and I'll try to help you out. If not, you can always join a Discord server or check on Reddit or something like that. And there's always help but anyway the first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below that'll bring you guys right here to the 5m build server files and all you guys are going to want to do is download the latest recommended once you guys have done that open your file on up and you should be greeted with tons and tons of files which looks a little bit complicated and a little bit over the top but trust me it's really not from here all you guys are going to want to do is very simply open up your file explorer and then we're going to need to create a folder for our 5m server so to do that choose any directory you want i usually just put it in documents right click new and folder i'm going to call this folder i'm going to call it test server you can call it whatever you want it doesn't really make a difference you can call it test server if you want it's really up to you then we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this folder server and go inside this folder and this is where we're going to drag and drop all of these files and the folder so control a and very simply just drag and drop into your server and just like that tenantly you're now ready to go and pretty much run your server there's only a few steps left if you guys just do a base server but with qb call there's a couple of extra steps but they're really really not that difficult and from here all you guys are going to want to do is scroll down and find that fx server application folder and file even and then double click it it'll pop up with a little console command like this and it will start pretty much building and running your server for you and after a couple of seconds it should redirect you to your tx admin terminal from here all you guys are going to want to do is it should automatically fill your link account file or code name whatever you guys want to call it and then just click link account it's going to authorize it with your cfx.re account if you're not already logged into that or you don't have one i'd highly recommend recommend making one since it is pretty much essential for tx admin click continue and then create a password for your account this is just a backup password it will usually use your original cfx.re password Obviously, if you forget that, then this is going to be a backup password just so you can always get into your TX admin. Obviously, if you guys don't know what TX admin is, it's pretty much your home and your hub for running your 5M server off. So everything you need to do, like shut down the server, edit command lines, you can come here. You can also do it in your file directories, but it's usually a lot easier here. You can also ban people and stuff like that. It's pretty much, as I said, just a hub for your guys' 5M server. After that, click next. You can call your server every one. It doesn't actually have to correspond correspond to what we previously called it. So I'm just going to call it test server again, though. You can call it every one. Again, it doesn't make a difference. Then hit next. And then what we're going to do is click popular recipes. And then we're going to select the QB core framework, which is, as it says, it includes jobs, gangs, housing, and more. Now, you guys might be more familiar with ESX. ESX is pretty much the older and outdated version to QB Core, and it probably is a lot more difficult to maintain than QB Core these days since it isn't really updated. So I definitely recommend going with QB Core, although there isn't actually much of a difference. QB Core is just a lot more refined. So select that, and then hit Save, and then go to Run Recipe Deployer. And then this is pretty much going to be everything that it is going to install into your guys' server. So it's going to have all links and it will automatically install it in for you. And then from here, hit next. And then you're going to need a license key from your server. So all you guys are going to want to do is click this little hyperlink right here. Click that. It's going to take you to your key master account. Hit sign in. And then, then log in to your cfx.re account, the same account that we logged into before or make a account again if you guys need to it doesn't actually have to be the exact same account as long as you guys create a working key but to create a working key all you guys are going to want to do is click a new server type in the display name it's only for your own records so i'm going to put yt test and then you're going to want to type in your server ip address so to find that all you guys are going to want to do 
is I'll leave the link down in the description below, is search for a what is my IPv4 address. What I'm going to want to do is click this one right here and then copy and paste your IPv4 address, come back here and then paste it into here. Once you guys have pasted it into your initial server IP address box, go to server type, select home hosted, and for what server provider you are using, just put home hosted again. It doesn't actually make a difference. You could just put nothing. Well, write something, but you could literally just write the word nothing. And then click I'm not a robot and then generate your server key. But I've already got a key ready, so I'm not going to do that. I don't want to create unnecessary keys. Once you guys have done that, go back here and then select your ID. Just click that little hyperlink there. It's going to bring you to your key list. It's going to give you your key right here. So click copy. And then go back to your server deployer. Paste your key in here. There you go. Click run recipe. And it's going to give you a little error telling you that you need to install a software called XAMP. Now, XAMP is basically a database that your QB core server will run off. It's pretty simple. All you guys are going to want to do is hit the next link down in the description below. That will be guys right here to the XAMP download page. Hit download. And then once that download is done, it will be an EXE. Open the EXE on up. And it's going to pop up with a little admin command thing here. It should give you a little menu like this. And then hit next. And then next again. And select a folder where you want to install your XAMP. This probably won't work since it's already got remains of the old XAMP that I had. Since I had to make a new one for the sake of this video. So select a folder that is empty or create a new folder. It's really up to you. As long as you have a folder that is empty, otherwise it will likely throw you an error code. For the sake of this, I'm going to create a new folder very, very quickly. To install XAMP in, just make sure it's a clean folder. Otherwise, it will probably won't let you. So I'm just going to call this XAMP. It's spelled wrong because we already have an XAMP folder. So there it is. Select that folder. Click OK. And then next, select English or any other language you want. They also have Dutch or German, whatever it is. Then next. And then it's going to say setup is now ready to begin to install XAMP on your computer. Hit next and it will start unpacking and installing all of your XAMP files. And depending on your PC specs, this may take a bit, but it probably won't really take any longer than five minutes. So I'm going to cut back to once it is done installing. OK, so once that is done, you'll be greeted with a little menu like this. And it asks you if you want to start the control panel now. Make sure that's selected and then click finish. It should then pop up with your XAMP control panel. Everything keeps going on to my second monitor for some reason. And then all you guys are going to want to do is select the Apache and the MySQL and start them both. It's going to might ask you to allow access or internet connection. Once you guys have done that, all you guys want to do is then go back to your server deployer and then click run recipe again. And you should be able to see now that it will successfully let you run your recipe since it has automatically detected that you have the databases that are necessary in your PC. So it's going to start downloading everything and setting up everything for you. It's pretty basic and it is pretty self-explanatory. And the only thing where it does get a little bit complicated is starting to mod your QB core servers. They can get a little bit, a little bit unreliable in a way. I guess you could say, and they can get a little bit confusing trying to troubleshoot, but that's kind of the way a 5M server works. You cannot expect running a server to be perfect every step of the way and every mod you install to be installed perfectly. To be honest, 5M servers are a complete pain in the ass, but at the end, the end result is always great to see and it's definitely a lot more enjoyable than your standard GTA 5 story mode, especially when you can play mods with your friends. But it really shouldn't take that long now to finish downloading everything and setting up everything into your databases, but I'll cut back to once it is finished. Once it is done downloading, all you guys are going to want to do is hit next again. It's going to give you pretty much your server.cfg. So if you don't know what your server.cfg is, this is pretty much your base settings and your configurations for every single thing on your guys' server. So all you guys are going to want to do from here is click save and run server. It's going to bring up your TX admin console and pretty much boot up your server and from here this is pretty much it you'll see everything starting to install 
and in a couple of seconds we'll be able to hop into our 5m server and i'll be able to show you guys your qb core server so if you guys are worrying about being an admin all you guys have got to do is go to your admin manager console right here and you should be able to see that since you've already linked your cfx.re account you are already an admin so to make sure that that actually works you do need to be logged in to your cfx.re account on 5m otherwise your admin menu perms will probably not work and usually the first person to join the server after it being created will always get super admin permissions which is basically owner permissions once your server is started you should be safe to start up 5m once you guys have booted up your 5m you should be able to see now there is a little option telling you under play to connect to your lan so what you guys want to do is click that it's going to start booting up your server and connecting to your server and everything should work perfectly if you guys have loaded in you should be greeted with a character creation menu like this all you guys are going to want to do is click the first empty slot click create character and then name the character wherever you want call it literally anything it really doesn't matter up to you if you guys legitimately want to do it it really doesn't make much of a difference at all what you guys have your character set as just for the sake of the video i'm going to quickly do it here and then it's going to ask you where you guys would like to spawn or start we're going to go for the integrity way the first one right here click that click confirm and then after a couple of seconds it should load you into an apartment in integrity way and give you a menu to choose your player model you can mess around with this you can change your mother and your father it might pop up with a little menu here for your door just close that menu it's because you're very close to your door you can choose your mother and your father it'll change your appearance it really doesn't make a difference what you guys choose you spend a couple of hours doing this since it takes a while to usually get the perfect character i usually spend quite a while doing this on 5m servers and stuff like that so mess around with that to whatever you guys want you can also Change your hair in the features section, your eye color, and pretty much everything to do with your features. You can add accessories as hats and stuff like that through here. It's pretty self explanatory. And also to change the view of your character, you can click each and every single little bit at the top for different views of your characters. You can see what you're wearing. But once you guys have got the perfect character, you can save your outfit, hit confirm, and you should be brought in to the game. You guys should be able to see on the bottom left, you now have a little mic icon. So that's going to be whenever you guys are speaking in game chat, it will light up. And then you also have a little hunger icon, which is a burger, and then a little H2O icon, which is how much you guys need to drink. So to leave your door, go up to your door, simply using your mouse, click leave apartment, and you should walk out onto the street. Unfortunately, it is night into gta and everything is perfect once you guys have come out now you should be able to see there is a little uh respiration little lungs symbol there that's how much stamina you guys have left how much breath so it's pretty realistic and if you guys also pause the game and go into the map you should be able to see that there are tons of new things on the map such as banks diamond casino and pretty much everything so that is it for installing a qb core server in 25m and it's actually not that difficult i'm sure a lot of you guys will be surprised at how easy it actually was to install a lot of people big it up and say it's really complicated but once you guys get your head around it it's actually pretty simple now in the next video i'm going to give on you guys a walkthrough of how to pretty much configure everything on your guys's server i just want to split it up into two separate videos otherwise they're really long and not a lot of people want to watch them so that video will be coming out in a few days time so make sure you guys do subscribe for that other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video make sure you guys subscribe check out my 5m server hd network down in the description below also check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below and use code highway trooper no capitals or spaces for 20 percent off your next server with them that is from minecraft all the way to 5m Check them out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.